not here! Enslaved Journey to the West is one of the most influential modern games that seems to be quickly fading into the background of gaming history. Enslaved was created by Ninja Theory, who's become synonymous with high quality action games with a heart. Enslaved is no exception. Enslaved Journey to the West was released in 2010 for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. I'm playing the PS3 version. Let's jump in. Enslaved Journey to the West opens on an airship. Our two leads are held captive, but something is amiss on the ship. It turns out that this ship is a slave vessel, and it's going down. The pods holding our two heroes open, and now it's a race to get to an escape pod. Instead of working together, our female protagonist, Trip, throws our other protagonist, Monkey, under the bus. Now they must both race to get to a pod before the craft crashes and burns. Unfortunately for Monkey, he gets to the pod a day late and a dollar short. Trip won't let him in, and he's in for a wild ride. Back on land, Monkey awakes with a device on his head. This device compels him to do what Trip says, lest his noodle gets cooked. On top of that... Wait here. You're leaving me alone here? How do I know you're coming back? You die, I die, right? Yeah. So? Trip wants Monkey to take her back to her village, but the road is filled with mechanized killing machines of all shapes and sizes. Without any choice, Monkey and Trip set off for their journey west. Enslaved does a great job taking two characters who obviously don't like each other and putting them into enough sticky situations that friendship must be born. You can tell that Trip feels bad about the way she's treating Monkey, but her desire to be back in the safety of her own village overrides her misgivings about her treatment of her companion. Over time, Monkey cares for Trip and finds forgiveness for her in his heart. The tale of Enslaved has only a few characters throughout the 12 chapters. This intimacy paired with the isolation of the world makes for a saga that feels sincere to the audience. The finale of the story leaves the player with a morally ambiguous ending that I was frankly surprised by. The gameplay of Enslaved can be broken up into two distinct parts, combat and traversal. The combat has a feel to it that will take some getting used to. The usual square and triangle button layout is used, but for some reason the game feels kind of clunky. I enjoy the way Monkey controls, but Enslaved has its own timing for sure. Monkey can dodge and shoot with his staff, and there are a few more tricks up his sleeve, but for the majority of the time, Monkey just pounds on the mechanized menaces before him. Trip is used for support, which comes in handy. She can use decoys to distract the enemy or recon an area. Trip also handles the upgrades, which are bare bones, but useful. The other gameplay feature in Enslaved is vertical traversal. The post Uncharted 2 era has found us doing a lot of jumping and holding onto hand grips. There's nothing challenging about these sections, but occasionally Monkey can get the drop on enemies or completely avoid them, which is nice. The real benefits of all this jumping around are the vistas you get treated to, bringing us to visuals. Enslaved Journey to the West is holding up well in the graphics department with minor exceptions. There are some issues with slowdown, screen tearing, and minor glitches. While these problems are noticeable, they are occasional and don't hinder the player's immersion. The lighting in Enslaved is exceptional. The color palette is bright with lots of of varying shades of green. Sometimes Enslaved has an almost washed out feel. You can fiddle with the gamma settings, but I like how vivid the game is. None of the grays and browns which are so prevalent during this era of gaming are present in Enslaved. The level design in Enslaved is quite good. The dilapidated structures are being retrieved by the landscape. The time period of Enslaved is 150 years after a war that destroyed the world. The setting is in New York with lots of recognizable landmarks. I like the choice of location. These neglected sites give a sense of reality to Enslaved's dystopic vision of the future. The character designs feel a bit dated, especially trips. I do like the way Monkey is made to look more primal, and he reads well on screen. His jumps, flips, and attacks all have a simian quality to them that feels robust and strong. The robots spent on killing Monkey and Trip are cool. These machines are left over from the previous conflict, and they look rusted, gnarly, and more than a little terrifying. I like the larger machine designs, they look menacing, and the unifying aesthetic of all of the enemies feels authentic to the world. The sound is a bit odd when considering how far sound has come since 2010 when Enslaved was released. The sound comes off as undermixed and underwhelming. music is a standard action score with lots of fast-paced percussion and driving violins. There's only one slower track, which is enjoyable. The OST is much shorter than what we're accustomed to, but what's here is great. Be careful. Thank you. Where's those insects? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, 
The voice acting is quite good. Monkey has a gravelly, deep voice that suits the character. Trip contrasts Monkey with a sincere, direct vocal style. The interactions between both characters is where the voice work shines. Beautiful. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. They should be dead. It makes perfect sense. The sunlight feeds the plants. The plants oxygenate the water. The small fish eat the algae. The big fish eat the small fish. It's a closed ecosystem. Just like my home. My father designed our community to work in exactly the same way so that we'd never have to leave the outer compound walls. We grow our own food, condense our own water, create our own energy. We have everything. Except the future. Enslaved Journey to the West will take you about 9 hours to complete. The difficulty during combat is quite high on normal. Lots of times you'll need to take a good look at the surrounding enemies before the battle begins to figure out the best place to start. Enslaved can be found for under $10, and for that price, it's worth a pickup. Enslaved is a game that has made an outsized impact on the gaming community, but many gamers aren't cognizant of its influence on other blockbuster games. As a result, Enslaved has influenced lots of games since, like The Last of Us and, more recently, Horizon Zero Dawn. If you consider yourself a gamer with an interest in gaming history, you owe it to yourself to play Enslaved Journey to the West. Thus begins our annual event, March Mecha Madness, and this year's theme is Mechanized Menaces. Check back next week for another game review with the most aggressive automatons in gaming. This is Zach with Tanuki Games. Please remember that a like, a comment, or a subscribe means a lot to me and of course the channel. Enjoy!